Learn the Double Antibody Sandwich ELISA Assay From Dr. Elk Today The sandwich ELISA method is often used to detect various biomoleculars, such as proteins, peptides and other macromolecular antigens. First, prepare the ELISA kit and various reagents required for the experiment. This includes the key materials used in the experiment. Next, prepare standard samples and test samples. Prepare serial dilutions of the standard. Dispense the standard diluent into both standard wells and sample wells. Add 100 microliter to each well. Complete the loading process. Place the plate in a humidified incubator at 37 degrees Celsius. Incubate for 80 minutes. During incubation, you can prepare the biotinylated antibody working solution in advance. Calculate the required volume of working fluid, according to the amount required for the experiment. After measuring the diluent, add the corresponding volume of concentrate. It is important to note that you should measure, rather than adding the concentrate directly to the diluent bottle. Incubation completed. Wash the plate three times. This step is very critical. Wash thoroughly and bound antigen. After washing the plate, add the diluted detection antibody. It will specifically bind to the antigen bound to the ELISA plate. Dispensing completed. Incubate in a 37 degrees Celsius incubator for 50 minutes. Detection antibody. Incubation completed. Wash the plate three times to remove inbound detection. Antibodies. After completing the antibody incubation and washing, prepare the streptovidin HRP working solution immediately. Accurately pipe at reagents gentle mixing. Avoid severe shock. The working solution should not be left for a long time. It is recommended to use it within 30 minutes to ensure the detection sensitivity. Then, add HRP working solution. It will bind to the detection antibody and prepare for the subsequent color reaction. After dispense, incubate in a 37C incubator for 50 minutes. HRP working solution incubation completed. Wash the plate 5 times. Make sure to wash away excess enzyme conjugate. Now add TM substrate. The TM added now will produce a color reaction under the action of the enzyme. After dispense, incubate at 37 degrees Celsius in a constant temperature incubator away from light for 20 minutes. Upon completion of the reaction time, add the stop solution to stop the color reaction. After adding the stop solution, the blue color instantly turns into a deep bright yellow. Remember to complete the reading within 30 minutes, otherwise the signal will slip away. Finally place the ELISA plate on the ELISA reader. Read the absorbance value and use the standard curve to calculate the content of the target molecule in the sample to be tested. Now, the ELISA double antibody sandwich experiment is completed.